hey guys welcome and welcome back again to my channel i am grace and in today's video i'll be talking about this dress right here i am wearing and it is my bell summer dress um pattern that i created it comes with a pat um a blouse and a dress the dress comes with a pocket because i love dresses with pockets they are convenient and the neckline comes with a higher neckline that's about an inch higher and a lower neckline which is what i'm wearing right now it's not so low but it is definitely lower than the um, higher neckline okay and it also comes with a puffy sleeve detail that you could wear as a regular puff sleeve or you could wear as an off shoulder which i really really love and it also comes with a tie at the back where you basically get to tie it at the back it's a very beautiful flowy summer dress that i feel like you would like and if you're interested in getting the link the pattern the link is in the description box so you can check it out as well without any further ado let's just jump right into the video so we're going to start off with the front bodice and for this you'll be cutting out your main fabric and your lining as well and you'll be tracing out the side darts and the front darts together you pin them um, together like so then you sew So I'm just saying the side darts and the front darts together this is what you'll have and you just put them together like so then keep them aside so we're going to go with the back bodice and for this it's just a long um, strap that you end up tying so you'll be cutting four pieces of this and you put the right side together and you sew from the top to the bottom of it but leaving the edge that connects to the front bodice open because that is where you're going to turn the fabric right sides out so before turning it right sides out you clip the edges like you can see me do it then you just turn it right sides out and after doing so you just iron it you pull the edges out first then you iron it like so After you iron it, then the next step is to connect the back bodice to the front bodice. So in order for you to do that, you place the back bodice on top of the main fabric like so. Then you sandwich it in between the main bodice and the lining together. Then you pin them like so. Fold the, the strap inside so that it does, you don't end up sewing it by mistake and you pin the other side of the back bodies together um, like so with the main fabric and the lining then you sew so for the sides and the top part you sew on a half an inch seam allowance but for the arm hole area you sew on a quarter of an inch seam allowance leaving another quarter of an inch seam allowance to connect to your sleeves So you leave the side, you sew the side on a quarter of an inch, sew the other side on a quarter of an inch, then the top and the side you sew on half an inch, same allowance. So 
So after you're done sewing, the next step is to create a clipping notch notches on the top side and the armhole area the reason why you do that is so that you have a bit of ease when you turn this right size out and it looks neat okay so you just turn the right side out like so then you iron it So now for the sleeves, we're going to work with it. So for the side notches created, you connect the two side notches together by folding the fabric like this. Then you iron it so that it, it's just easier to sew after doing so. Then you just use your ruler and your chalk to connect the notches on the left side to the notches on the right side. You'll see what I mean, just like this. It makes it easier for you to know where to sew on. So as I said on the line you created, um, the excess fabric you pull, you move it towards the um, top part of the sleeves, then you iron it down and sew it down so that would create your casing for your elastic band So after doing that, this is what you should have a neat finishing for your casing there. And the next step I'm going to go in is to um, hem the bottom. So you're going to fold it first using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Then you fold it again with another quarter of an inch seam allowance. Then you hem it. So basically you'll be folding the hem twice with a quarter of an inch seam allowance on each fold. So after folding that and hemming it, the next step is for the top part. So the, for the top part, you'll be creating a casing there. But in order for you to create a casing, the first thing you do is to fold it first um, using a half an inch seam allowance. Then you fold it again using another half an inch seam allowance. So after sewing it down, the next step is to insert the casing to um, the top parts of your sleeves and the middle second casing of your sleeves. So this, for the second casing, which is what I'm doing right here, I'm going to take the measurement of my biceps and that will be the measurement. Using my elastic band, I'm just going to um, um, put that around my biceps and um, cut that out. And for the top part, um, I'm also going to use the same measurement I use for my bicep minus an inch or two but it's also stated in the pattern the estimated um, length of elastic band you would need for both of them so you just insert them there like so then you're going to use a French seam to sew the sides down so basically what you start off by doing is sewing with um, right wrong sides facing each other and you're going to sew on a quarter of an inch seam allowance After sewing that down, you trim out the excess fabric like so. Okay. 
and after trimming out the excess fabric you've turn it over with right sides facing each other and you sew on a quarter of an inch seam allowance again and that is your print seam so after doing that the next step is to connect the sleeves to the um, bodice and you're just going to pin the middle part first then you pin the right the edges together then you sew and now we're going to start off with the bottom part of the dress and it's stated in the pattern you create a notch three inches down from the waistline and you place your pocket sleeves there with right sides of the pockets um, fabric and right sides of the skirt um, fabric together like so then you sew on a quarter of an inch seam allowance So basically what I'm doing right here is making sure that the pockets for both the front and the back bodies are aligned. It's just something I like to do um, for every skirt I make or every dress I make with the pockets. Um, I just want to make sure that the notches I created align with the pockets itself, okay? So after sewing the pockets um, to the main fabric of the first tail of the dress, um, the next step is to gather the top part of the second tier of the dress to align with the bottom part of the first tier of the dress. And once I am okay with the alignment, I sew it down using a half an inch seam allowance. So after sewing it down, I'm just going to iron it like so. And the next step is to create the casing for the back um, dress. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this using a half an inch seam allowance first. Then I'm going to fold it again using another half an inch seam allowance. And that's going to create my casing. Um, yeah, I made a mistake, but I went back to create them um, to correct the mistake. I ended up folding first with a quarter run and quarter of an inch rather than half an inch but I corrected the mistake later on and after I am done sewing that down I'm going to insert my waist band or my elastic band inside so basically what you do is to just take um, half of your waist measurement for the elastic band and the surface of the back part of the dress and you pin it down like so so after doing that the next step is to connect the front bodies to the front um bottom part of the dress and i'm just going to gather it to um, match the waistline of my bodice so after it's aligned i'm just going to pin it down and sew it down like so so after doing that i'm just going to connect the back bodies to um the front the back um part of the skirt to the front part of the skirt like so and I'm pinning them down and I'm going to sew using a half an inch seam allowance So after sewing it down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down from 6 inches from the top of the pocket and I'm going to sew down closing the space there. And after doing that, the last step is to hem the bottom of the dress. So you're going to fold it twice using a half an inch on each fold and your dress is pretty much done. And this is what I have. This is what it looks like as an off shoulder and I absolutely love it. And like I said, I could wear it as an off shoulder and I could wear it as a regular puff sleeve. And I also, I always love dresses with pockets, like I said at the beginning. And yeah, this is what it looks like. And I already made the blouse version of this and you'll see it in a minute as well. So this is the blouse version of this and this is also the higher neckline as opposed to the dress version that had a lower neckline and this is what the back looks like so yeah thank you so so much for watching this video i really appreciate it and if you like to get the pattern the link is in the description box so you could check it out and i'll see you all in the next video bye